Hey everybody, welcome back. Trailer reaction time and guess what? Book of Boba Fett. Will Eric cry? Let's play that game. Maybe, I don't know. I'll get to all that. Today we're here to watch the official trailer, our first look at the actual series, The Book of Boba Fett. And I'm, obviously I'm very excited for it for many reasons. If you want to see this trailer without my very excited face in the way, there's a link in the description below or something's popping up right about now. You can click on that, check it out, come on back, watch me watch this. And we're going to geek out over it because it's Star Wars. You know I'm going to geek out over it. I still love Star Wars. All Star Wars. For those that never checked it, even The Rise of Skywalker has a hell of a lot of fun in it. But lots of it's great. A few flaws. You know, I'm not 100% happy with it, but I enjoy it. I enjoy rewatching it. <laughs> I'm almost choking on saliva. We haven't even gotten to the book of Boba Fett. Uh, but let's do all this other stuff, too. The uh, world is weird. Times are tough. Things are crazy. But you know what? We will get through this. We will get through this together. And we like to say that out loud, daily mantra style, put some positivity into your life, the universe, just something fun to do. Maybe it'll make you smile. Try it if you haven't. You might like it. We will get through this. We will get through this together. I'm smiling, but I'm already smiling because Book of Bubble Fett time. All right, so obviously spoilers for Mandalorian and all of that because, which was phenomenal, of course. And I know a lot of people are like, where's your reaction to Mandalorian? Where's your reviews? Honestly, I just wanted to enjoy it. I didn't want to have like bright lights on in my face and a camera, you know, and all that stuff. And then be like, ugh, I don't want to watch it because then I have to go edit and blah, blah. I just wanted to enjoy it. And I did. I do regret not giving you my my reaction to the arrival, the Luke Skywalker thing at the end of last season. Because it's, it's as spectacular as you would have expected it to be. My crying reaction still gets me when I watch it. But um, yeah, but then of course we had the tease and we're getting like the book of Boba Fett and Boba Fett coming back and it actually being... Um, um, wow, Tam Tamora Morrison, uh, that is so cool. And then it was Finnick, and then we saw Finnick in the Bad Batch and all that stuff, so we're getting tied into that. And I mean, even just seeing, um, you know, that uh, he had, uh, <laughs> that Bib Fortuna had gained some weight, uh, that was pretty cool at the end as well. Yeah, man, I don't know. Obviously, I don't know if they'll be off Tatooine, if it's all Tatooine, if we're going to see some other familiar aliens' faces, most Eisley, I don't know. I just know that I'm excited. Now, uh, I do like to say, I know if you're here for the crying, it may or may not happen. The saga films definitely got me because they have John Williams music. That's a huge part of it. And all the nostalgia of all those characters I grew up with my entire life. Boba Fett has that nostalgia. I grew up with him. Granted, he had very little screen time in the movie, so he wasn't as important to me as he might be to other people. But I've gotten to know him in The Mandalorian and Finnick and all that. So I don't know. I do have some emotional attachment here. I'm just excited for some new Star Wars because Star Wars Visions was great. But it's like you want pizza and all you get are pizza rolls, which are still really good. But I'm ready for some pizza. So let's do it. Let's... I don't know if I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. Let's watch. <gasps> oh, the thing! <laughs> I am not a bounty hunter. <laughs> I've heard otherwise. I know that you sit on the throne of your former employer. Java ruled with fear. I intend to rule with respect. Mutually beneficial. Why speak of conflict when cooperation can make us all rich? What prevents us all from killing you <laughs> and taking what we want? If he had spoken such insolence to Java, he'd have fed you to his menagerie. Please, speak freely. Hmm. All right, all right, it's, I'm excited. Don't, don't get me wrong, but I do, I will point out a, a minor negative. The trailer itself wasn't that great. Now, I don't know if it's just they haven't filmed enough. They don't have enough to work with yet. They should. I mean, especially filming in the volume. 
I didn't feel like we got a really good sense. That felt like if they called that a teaser trailer, I'd be like, all right, yeah, that was a teaser trailer. But on Disney Plus, they're calling that the trailer. So I have some issues there. I didn't get as hyped into it as I was expecting because it did. I was expecting a trailer. I got a teaser. That said, Tamora Morrison just looks incredible. I love the idea that he's like Jabba rule with fear. I'm going to rule with respect. I think that's awesome. I'm seeing like Gamorrean guards and Tusken Raiders and all that. That big city planet is that that's not part of Tatooine, right? That's another planet they've gone to probably. Seeing and I may get the the alien race name wrong. I'm sorry, but like is it Ithorian? Ithorian? And like he has the translator because they're so guttural in there. That was a really cool touch. The music is amazing. Seeing uh, Finnick is awesome. You know, I just I love her. And I love this new character, and I love what they've been doing with her. I'm anxious to see more of that. I don't really get a sense of overall plot here, other than what we kind of expected of Boba's taken over, and people aren't happy about that. So, um, you know, we got that. But, I mean, I'm assuming there's going to be a, more of a plot to it. Like, so what's the big threat here? Is it just all the gangs or what? You know, I don't know. I, I, I needed a little bit more than I got out of it. But the armor looks great. The locations look great. The effects looks great. The music, I think, is going to be phenomenal. Robert Rodriguez is on board. I believe he directed most of it or a bunch of them or something, or he's like the showrunner on this one. That's great because he did the Boba Fett, the, the main episode of season two of Mandalorian. So obviously I'm very, very excited for that and uh, not excited for um, all the Black Series figures I'm going to end up having to buy probably. <sighs> but that said and done, I mean, I'm hyped for it. It's like the early Mandalorian trailers. It didn't get me emotional, but it got me pumped and that got me pumped, but... Yeah, man, I'm just down. I'm just excited. It's just so cool seeing him, you know, what looks like an older Django Fett under the Boba armor as it should be. It's just such a neat sight and experience I never thought we would get. And I do wonder if we'll get a flashback to how he got out of the uh, Sarlacc. That'd be pretty sweet as well. It'd be cool if they can do some flashback stuff here. All right, anyways, it's going to be great. We're probably getting another trailer before December 29th, maybe. Um, I hope. I want to see a little bit more. I want a more hype trailer. I want a more action-packed trailer. I assume it's going to be an action-packed show because of the way they've set Boba up in The Mandalorian, but maybe I'm wrong. And will the Mando show up? He could cameo. That'd be kind of cool, too. You know, when Boba, when Boba, for, for Boba's birthday, Finnick reaches out on cameo to Pedro Pascal and <laughs> has him send him a cameo. Oh, wow. All right. On that note, what did you all think about it? Are you excited? Did you think the trailer was a little lacking, even though the show still looks really good? Let me hear your thoughts. Definitely geek out with me in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button. Give me the good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. And remember that we will get through this. We will get through this together. And with all of that said and done, uh, I make music. You can find it anywhere you listen to music. Spotify, Apple, whatever. Just look up Eric Butts. You'll find it. I'm happy with what I'm doing. Maybe you'll like it too. Or you can come to my YouTube page, main page. I got some of it there as well. Newest stuff comes out on Bandcamp. Great way to support and uh, or old stuff's on Patreon. 25 years of unreleased exclusive music going on over there. Another great way to support. Or if you want to support and get more YouTube, uh, like video game Let's Plays, cooking vlogs, reviews, like we do review the Star Wars shows. Although, I don't know how that's going to work. Yeah, that's a thing. Um, there's a join button next to the, <laughs> to the subscribe button, or there's a join link in the description below if you don't have that button. Lots of stuff in that description, so click the See More button to see more butts. All right, that's it. I'm going to get on out of here. I've done three trailer reactions today, and each one was for something from a different streaming site. I find that kind of interesting. I'm going to get on out of here so I can go watch some more stuff, and I'll see you all later. May the Force be with you. Always. I love annoying you with that. <laughs>